Hello, Forestania Resources is a Perth-based ASX listed company with bountiful lithium, gold and nickel projects spread across three prolific regions in Forestania, Southern Cross and Leonora. The Explorer is on a mission dedicated to uncovering a world-class resource project focusing initially on lithium, but with gold and nickel as well. To tell us more, I'm joined by company chair, John Hannaford. John, the company has a range of offerings, but first, what's the backstory to the company? Well, thanks, Peter. Um, the company secured the, the Forestania project um, about 18 months ago. We were looking for uh, unique, significant um, tenement packages, um, David Izzard and myself, and we secured the project from uh, another company uh, who would focused on other commodities uh, and that was how we uh, based our listing just over 12 months ago. So after listing have looked at both gold and lithium but uh, found that the lithium prospectivity in the area has been uh, hugely significant so we're, we're now fo focusing a lot of our attention on, on that lithium. Okay, so there's a consolidation of uh, a range of m minerals and resources. So going forward, what's the ethos? What's the ultimate goal? Well, the ultimate goal of the company is to find a major uh, significant discovery in locations where there have been major discoveries and with the prospectivity that allows us to be confident that there's a chance, a high chance of, of another major discovery. All right, well, let's dive deeper. You're across lithium, gold and nickel, uh, as I mentioned in my intro. Let's start with battery metals and lithium first. You have the Giant Project. Where is that and what's got you so excited about it? Uh, the Giant Project is the source of a um, a previous discovery of 34 metres at 3.1% lithium uh, Li2O, which in anyone's language is a, is a significant discovery. Mm -hmm. um, now that uh, is our most advanced prospect and so the one that we've been aiming to, to, uh, to drill after listing, we've now finally got approvals to drill that and aim to drill it early in the new year. Okay, fantastic. Well, it's no secret that Australia has emerged as a strong play in that lithium and battery metals space. What does this project, John, have that other lithium prospects don't? We, we have a, a, a huge opportunity in that we have a, a 100 kilometre strike of this Goldilocks corridor, so-called, because it's very close to, it's not too hot, not too cold, but just right for lithium pegmatite uh, formations. Uh, we're right next to the, the Mount Holland Lithium Project, which is a, a world-class lithium uh, project being developed by a joint venture between West Farmers and SQM. We have the ground a long strike and running north-south for 100 kilometres in this Goldilocks zone. Uh, we're lucky to be have secured the project at a time when lithium prices were at a low, um, they've come up since then uh, mm. something like a thousand percent. So yes. the interest is very much on us finding something and we believe we've got the team and the and the, uh, the portfolio to find something. And geographically we're talking about 100 kilometres south of Southern Cross? Correct. It's, it's a little bit further than that. It runs from the Mount Holland Mine, which is just south of Marble Lock, running all the way towards Ravensthorpe, but it, cause it goes past all of the nickel mines at IGO has, uh, and then down to the Hatters Hill uh, gold prospect in the south. Okay, so along with Giant, you have the Bounty East project. What's the potential here? Well, it's it's called Bounty East because it lies just to the east of the, the Bounty gold and, and lithium area, and which is six kilometres east of uh, the Mount Holland uh, uh, lithium project. So we're in a, we're in an elephant country in terms of, of lithium prospectivity. Uh, the previous explorers had drilled uh, some shallow holes that intercepted some pegmatites that intercepted the right types of, of uh, pathfinder minerals. However, we don't believe that they drilled deep enough to test the lithium prospectivity, which is a little bit technical, but uh, in this part of the world, the weathered zone goes down to about 60 metres and lithium is leached out in the shallower part of that. Uh, and what they saw at Mount Holland was that the deeper sections were where the, the lithium rich pegmatites exist. So we're going to be drilling that deeper zone uh, and we've just got approval to drill uh, the best part of that prospect uh, in the new year. Okay, so that's during quarter one, 23? Quarter, quarter one, 2023. Okay, and your field exploration program is bearing fruit. This is going on from Bounty East, uh, the South Iron Cap East prospect and Calypso as well. So yeah, they're, you've they're got really a bit exciting. Uh, really exciting because um, this is our, our own company generated prospects. We started with uh, the, air, the, the database that we, we inherited and found that there was a lot of areas that needed a lot of more infill work. Our team has been out there throughout the year doing soil sampling, mapping, and uh, coming up with, with prospects. And the first one is the South Iron Cap East, 
that's just east of um, the uh, Western Areas uh, Prospect South mm -hmm. Iron Cap, where they recorded 50 metres at 0.95% lithium in one of their nickel holes, which is quite significant because Western Areas were not um, targeting lithium. They were just went through their old database and they found uh, a 50 metre intercept of, of high grade lithium. Um, and we're only a kilometre away and we've got a new pegmatite outcrop that's been discovered in a completely undrilled area. So it's very exciting. But that speaks to the fact that there's more prospects being generated from every time we go out in the field. Uh, more recently, Calypso, which to the western side of, of, of uh, the, the Western Areas package. And again, we found following up old, uh, old results, we found a pegmatite outcrop, which corresponded with um, high anomalism in the soils. Uh, and that's potentially a whole new area for us for, for lithium prospectivity. So very exciting. And we believe there's a potential for a lot more of these as we go forward. Well, it sounds like a, a rich vein of strike there across the whole gamut of lithium, John. Let's talk about gold. Uh, the yellow metal is seen as always as a, as a safe haven. Uh, you have a range of gold projects or prospects as well. Let's start with Lady Lilla. Uh, tell me more. Yeah, Lady Lilla is a, a, a a prospect that we acquired from a, a different uh, vendor. Um, it's a, a smaller prospect um, on, a, on a banded iron formation, which is quite similar to the Bounty Gold Mine. Um, Bounty um, produced close to a million ounces, uh, went down to a depth of 900 metres. We believe this is potential to be a similar type of prospect. It's only been drilled to a shallow extent, and we've, we've gone in uh, and been able to infill some of that with our recent program and uh, further drilling will look to, to um, extend the, the depth and extent of that prospect. And where's it located? It's just on the, uh, it's in Forestania, but yep. just to the, the western side of our main tenement package. All right, um, and you've conducted some drilling and more to come? Yes, more to come. Uh, we, we are working with the authorities who uh, like to us to do some surveys, environmental surveys, which is what all the explorers and, and miners in the area have to do. So we, we're waiting for those approvals to come through, but we look forward to being able to drill uh, that again later next year. Well, this Forestania zone, if I can call it that, uh, seems quite uh, prospective across a range of offerings you have on the gold front. You've got yep. the Kit Kat and uh, uh, the Kit Kat and Great Southern Gold projects. It sounds like it's a gift that keeps on giving, John. What's yeah, going well, on well, here? There's, there's several different types of, of mineralisation. Um, the main Kit Kat is along the, the, the Greenstone Belt, and we think we've got um, that contact between the granite and the Greenstone Belt there. That's a tr traditional sort of goldfield style mineralisation. Um, that's never been drilled in, in that, that area. We've got significant length of strike, um, but also a different form of uh, style of mineralisation, the granite hosted uh, Great Southern and the new prospect, the Prince Prospect. Um, where we've uncovered a significant strike um, using new techniques that some of our team who are very experienced in, in granite hosted gold discoveries have brought to the company. So uh, that is yet to be drilled, um, KitKat as well. Um, we look like uh, being able to drill those uh, in early into 2023. And there's more, but wait, wait, there's more. Oh, wait, there's more. Uh, Leonora and the Northern Goldfields, you've got uh, another large portfolio of highly underexplored ground. Correct. Um, we're very excited about Leonora. Um, obviously, Leonora is, 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 has a wealth of, of gold um, history and, and mineralisation. Uh, what we're looking at is a, is a slightly different to the usual greenstone hosted discovery. We're looking at something in the granites just off the greenstone and actually done some, uh, some airborne magnetic surveys which have highlighted that there's actually greenstone belts running through the granite, which is previously unmapped. So that's given us another target, as well as the granite structures uh, that um, our team found when they were working at, at, at Northern Star. They've discovered the Ramones Prospect, which is a granite hosted gold discovery. So we're bringing some really high end expertise to, to this play at an early stage. So from lithium to gold and now nickel, uh, there's the Forestania Nickel Project. It's a region well known for nickel. Uh, that's no secret. So what do you like about this particular prospect, separate to the gold and lithium prospects? Yeah, the, it's it's a good point because that in, in Forestania we're finding that it's all, it's not separate, we're all in the same form of mineralisation. So we always have a, 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 a lookout for nickel. Um, some of the areas we were going into had previously been explored for, for nickel, but not more recently. We've been looking for gold, but there's nickel in the, in the area. So 
that's something we, we don't, haven't got a, a, a drill ready prospect just yet, but we, we are quite excited longer term about the potential for nickel still in that area. So John, anyone watching or listening to this direct will, uh, I guess can basically assume that you've got this pot puree of, of assets, so to, so to speak. So what's the long game? Are you focused on exploration, which obviously you are, but would you like to see some kind of mining activity? And if so, can we talk about potential timelines? Um, look, it, it's a good question. Uh, it, it, we, we'd like to make a, a, a decent discovery first, but the options are, are quite um, extensive in the area. We have uh, very close to uh, significant miners. IGO now moved into the district buying Western areas. They've got plants there. Um, we have Mount Holland where West Farmers and SQM just started mining the, the Mount Holland project. So they'll be looking for potential um, ore feed opportunities, or there's a standalone option. So I think depending on which commodity, there's there's lots of different options. Obviously long-term, we want to be moving these projects towards mining, but there are a lot of options as to whether we mine mm. ourselves or we partner up with one of the existing players. Sure. It's all about uh, finding that, uh, that best fit uh, for the company and, and the best return for shareholders. Yeah, so as an explorer across all these different resources, what does Forest Sony have to ensure interest among investors? I guess, why should people buy in on the Forestania story? Well, we think we're a fantastic opportunity right now because we've identified several high, high quality uh, lithium drilling targets. We'll be drilling early in the new year. We have a tight market cap. We've got a really high quality team. Um, we've got um, some geologists who are part of the team that uh, build up the Kidman story just north of, of us. And so we think we're well placed to give some leverage to uh, to shareholders by taking a punt and getting in now. Well, John, thanks for coming in today and sharing your story and insights about the company. Thank you very much, it's been a pleasure.